Welcome back. And when we last left off, we had just started the mill to cut the foam for this fixture that's going to hold our uh, left and right side windows um, when we get them so we can actually run the mill around them to trim them. So here we are almost finished and this uh, particular path here is just cutting a channel which will actually be a vacuum channel around the outside edge um, which will hold that, uh, in this case, a rear window in place um, firmly while the machine runs and cuts it. Next up, the guys uh, were finishing off uh, putting the side braces on the uh, roof mold. So you can see the extensions and this all this not only um, stops that mold from flexing so much but it also gives us a surface or at least a stand that we can tip that thing on its side while we're laying up to make it easier uh, to lay up that part. And in the meantime uh, more sanding going on on the main spar and just about done now. So the next uh, step for that will be wax uh, waxing which you'll see uh, shortly. So it's been quite a while but that's a large part so that's understandable and here is a window fixture uh, off the mill uh, ready for fiberglass because uh, we're going to do it the same way a layer of fiberglass on there and spray it with putty and then mill that again but then all it will need is a coat of primer and then it will be getting some ultra suede put on the top and the channels uh, hooked up to a vacuum hose and here you can see Jeff and Mark just about done with the glassing um, procedure on there. Just, we just use lightweight uh, fiberglass on this. doesn't have to be a super strong plug because we're not pulling a mold off of it, but it needs to be durable because it's going to have a lot of windows um, cut using it. So you know, we're just you know doing the same sort of uh, quality job that we do on all of these plugs. And here's Zach and Keith just about done on putting the last of the uh, side braces on there. And you can actually see there's little foam blocks in the top there for where the um, hard points are going to be to mount the wheels. And here's a little uh, inlet um, mold that now has some those little braces put on it. So um, it's easy to stand that up on and uh, be able to lay that part up without it rocking. And there's the plug for the main spa now getting um, waxing. So it got uh, five coats of wax over the course of Friday. And so all that remains on that before we, before we can pull the uh, mold off of that is just to put the uh, silicon rubber uh, profile around the outside. And so we'll be pulling um, the mold for that next week. And that's actually going to be a three part mold. So there'll be two side pieces and one center piece. But you'll see that uh, sometime next week. And next up here is the mold for the keel and we had to put some uh, bushings in place there for where we drill the hole for the rotational point for the nose gear. And unfortunately while it was on the machine I didn't actually capture that but we bonded some FR4 um, one inch thick on the sides and aligned it up on the machine and drilled it through and then we've actually gone and uh, put some carbon fiber to keep that in place. And next up here you can see the uh, forward bulkhead dry fit inside of the mold for the nose. And obviously it's upside down. Um, and the reason why we're doing this is just so we can see where the core uh, needs to be uh, trimmed on either side of that. Um, so we can start laying it up next week. And here is another uh, inlet mold that has um, been finished now and waxed and ready so that we'll be getting the uh, silicon rubber profile around the outside and that's actually the lower part of the inlet on the roof and here is the roof mold now with the casters um, bolted into place so ready to be flipped back over again and uh, once we have the door frames done we'll be able to lay up the roof um, with the door frames integrated And speaking of door frames, here is Jeff um, putting another coat of primer around the outside edges of these door frames. Um, so they'll need a little bit more sanding, just uh, 220, 320 and 400. And these ones will be ready to pull um, an insert that we'll be using um, to mate up with uh, the roof mold that um, we just saw. And lastly, here's the nose mold. Um, again marked up ready to trim the core and we'll be laying that up next week probably 
And so that's our update for this week. And if you like these videos, please um, give them a thumbs up. Or if you're on Facebook, please share this post so more people can find out about us. Appreciate it. Thanks.